here's uh, the word of the Lord for us as a body of believers uh, for 2020. New wine, fresh oil, new wineskin. A new wineskin means a new you. It means becoming a new you, allowing God to make you into a new person, a new you, so that He can then put the new wine into your life and release the fresh oil over you. Now, when we say becoming a new you, we're not talking about just something superficial. We talk about you as a person, as who you are, in, in, in what you're doing, in your engagement with God. That you become a new you. The new you that God wants you to be. The new wineskin also talks to us about receiving new dispensers. Because that's what a wineskin was. And so a new wineskin also represents new dispensers. Which means to us, new ways, new methods, new means, new strategies, new containers to receive and release God's new wine and fresh so God wants to release something new, but he's waiting for a new wineskin to be presented to him so that he can release new wine into that new wineskin so that, that then it can be released on the earth. Now, there are different ways that God helps you become a new you. That God helps us to become a new wineskin. There are different ways by which God works in our lives. Sometimes we discover new gifts, graces, and opportunities. That you didn't know existed in you or was available to you. A new grace, a new gift, or a new opportunity comes your way. And God is saying, go there. But that means there's something that you need to change. And you need to become somebody in order to respond to that grace, that gift, or that opportunity that has come your way. You see, even in nature, we see this. If something new is about to be released, something is being stretched. So that's another way that God causes you to and me to become a new wineskin. He stretches us. And God, I'm comfortable with this. But God, just go further. Stretch yourself. And a new thing will be released. Sometimes he uses time in the wilderness. That time in the wilderness is a time of separation, of silence, of solitude, of secret. But it's a time of great strengthening and of great empowering in the Holy Spirit. And sometimes God says, I need you in the wilderness for a while. Because I need you to become a new wineskin in order to receive the new wine, the fresh oil that I want on your life. So the time in the wilderness is not a depressing thing. It's a time when you are transitioning. And if you look at it in a positive way, it can be an exciting time. Sometimes he takes us through a process of metamorphosis. Sometimes this metamorphosis, it could look, look like this. That, you know, where God takes you to a time of training, of reskilling, of unlearning and relearning, of mentoring, of nurturing. That could be your time of metamorphosis. You are becoming something. So, in this process of becoming a new wineskin, there could be times as you're going through the changes and you're going through whatever God is taking you through, that people around you may not like it. You're becoming something different. No, no, no. I'm just becoming a new wineskin in order to receive this new wine and this fresh oil so that I can see the purposes of God released to bless people. So now... What is this new wine, fresh oil we're talking about? So what does wine represent? New wine represents new things that God releases, that God is waiting to release through you. It could be a new blessing. It could be a new uh, idea, a new strategy, a new method, a new, uh, a new work that he wants to release through you. And so that new wine represents this new thing that God is waiting to release. And you know, when God does a new thing, what was in the past just a dream, what was in the past be out of your reach becomes the new norm. We as a church must be prepared to become a new wineskin in order to receive new wine and fresh oil. Amen? So we got to do new things to reach new goals. We got to do things differently to see different results. 